So, I asked my three best friends what wall art they want me to DIY for them. And here's what they sent over. So today we are recreating their inspo photos using only plaster. I'm Mon, by the way, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button so we can start right away. For the first project, Mattea sent over this inspo, however, she wanted it in landscape, so I am using a 20 by 30 inch canvas. Now, first things first, we are mixing up the plaster. You can absolutely use pre-mixed plaster, however, I like to mix it myself so that I can play with the consistency. And now I start off by applying it to the canvas. We will be doing a few layers of plaster and the first one should be the thinnest. I'm using a plastering tool to scoop up and spread the plaster to the canvas. And now I'm going in with a brush to make brush strokes into the plaster and add up some more texture. You'll see me switching up between the trowel and the brush during this whole process. This is a forgiving process, however, so don't be afraid to experiment. You can always wipe it up and start all over. And now it's time for the second layer. I'm just sketching it up, having the inspo photo in mind. And I'm adding small batches of plaster to build up the second layer. And it's time for the third layer. I'm repeating the same thing, just building up the plaster and smoothing it out with a trowel. In the end, I'm going in with a brush to add up some more texture. And the last layer is the thickest one, so make sure to build up even more plaster. Now I came up with this technique to make the layers pop up even more. I basically just started scrapping the layers to just give them more depth. And this worked perfectly. In the end, I went in with the brush, smoothing out every harsh line and giving everything more texture before leaving it to dry overnight.
Now it's the next day and everything looks perfect. And now it's time to paint it. I'm using white acrylic paint mixed with liquid pigments. I used green, brown and yellow pigment to get all of these shades of green. I'll make sure to link everything into the description box. I'm starting off by painting the white layer first. Next I'm painting the darkest color. Now let me just say this was so tricky to paint however acrylic paint can be wiped off with a wet cloth so if you mess it up you can always wipe it up and start again just take your time and go slow and steady now i'm going in with the lightest green tone to cover the top of the canvas i'm also covering the sides Lastly, it's time for the middle layer. This honestly took longer to paint than it took to create the textures with the plaster. However, it turns out so good, so I don't mind the process at all. Out of all of the DIYs, this may be the hardest one to do in general, but I made them all in one day and painted them the next day, so trust me, if I did it, anyone can. Now, are you ready to see how it turned out? The second project was this art with wavy arches that Tima sent and I was so excited to try it out. So first I started by pouring the plaster onto the canvas. Next I proceeded with spreading it out evenly throughout the whole canvas and smoothing it out. This was actually the trickiest part of it all. Once I was satisfied with the smoothness, I quickly sketched out where I wanted the arches to go before going in with this tool to create the waves. This tool is actually a cleaner for my grill. However, you can also use hair comb or a fork or anything you can think of. Once I was satisfied, I left it to dry overnight. Now it's the next day and now it's time to paint it. As requested, I'm using this light beige color and I'm going in with two coats to make sure everything's fully covered. And now let's see how it turned out.
it's time for the final project. And believe it or not, this one was the easiest one to make. I first started off by sketching where I wanted my mountain to go. As in the ISFO photo, we are doing two layers. I started off with the first layer of plaster using this small patty knife and this one worked perfectly for creating those almost triangular shapes of our mountain. The best movement you can do here is just going crisscross, applying the plaster and spreading it out in excess. It's honestly so easy to do and I loved the process. Once I finished with the first part, I smoothed out the bottom of the first layer and started building up the second layer on top, repeating the same thing. Once you build up the second layer, just cover everything up, going crisscross with the plaster. Once I was satisfied, I left it to dry overnight. Now it's the next day and it's time to paint. I'm going in with this light beige color, however, I'm not covering everything. Instead, I'm brushing the paint, leaving some of the parts white, as on the inspo photo. And to finish it all off, I'm painting the top part white. You can absolutely leave it as is, however, I wanted to make it more durable, so I decided to give it one coat of white. And now, are you ready to see how it turned out? Now before you go, I wanted to tell you that I have so many DIY art projects on my channel and I'll make sure to link all of them down below so you can check them out. 
Also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below and maybe what wall art you want me to DIY next. And I'll do it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. It means the world to me. And I'll see you designers next week. Bye.